click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the user interface and the tools to actually interact with the interface. We will see that how historically we improved from the past era to the new era that the heuristical research of the user interfaces. The web application has become a nowadays a part of our life. We know that to connect and search for every database, we need a web application. Now how the web application works? It works with the application programs. Now when we are actually using the application program, we do not interact with the database directly. There is an interface via which we interact with the interface. Say for an example, when we go for a university registration, we take and help of the medium like a human being or we can do it nowadays with a site or the website to the university. Now when we do this with an, a website to the university, that means we are using an interface to connect to the university database. We actually cannot go and put our data into the university database while we have used the actual of the particular and the proficient website to make use of the database that we can fetch data, query among this that the seats are available or not, that we can go into the course for this semester or not, and we get the result and on basis of that, we register ourselves onto the universities. Now this is known as the user interface. Now there are many facts that is associated with a user interface. Typically the web services fetches their data by first using the authorization phase. Now when the web applications use the authorization, that means it asks the user to give their user ID and password in general so that they can log in into a particular site. If there is no user ID and password combination present, then the user is asked to sign up on that particular site and after that they can log in into the site. Now after that they have logged in into the site, now they can access the data. Now some of the web application needs the customized part of data like the news related websites. Say suppose I want to get the sports news, we can categorize it in our web applications. Whereas in our handmade newspapers, we cannot categorize, we have to page and just swipe it back to the sports page. Like in this way, we can put just sports category and we will get all the information of sports. That means the user can customize the page using of their need. Now when this type of page is used, we can say that the web application is made with generally HTML and standard. Now going back to the history, we can say that on the 1916s around time, we had the mainframe computers. So the mainframe computers are actually connected with their proprietary network or the channel based internet connections, like the telephone connections or any dial up connections. Now when this type of network and connections were used, it was not widely available. Only some part of the people were able to afford this type of connections. Now after the mainframe is connected with the pipe of the network, then the terminals can be attached to the network so that they can use the database stored in the mainframe computer. Now going forth to the actual 1990 or 2000 era, where we have used the desktop or PCs inside our computer system. Now the PCs are the personal computers, it can be a desktop, laptop, mini computer and all. Now when this type of computers were being used, we use the LAN, the local area network to connect with each other and the database is connected with the LAN so that they can get use of the database via the LAN. Now in this 2005 and 2010 and now onwards we are in the web era. The web era means we no longer connect with the network, we no longer connect with the database anymore. We connect with a web application that actually in turn connect with the web server 
that what query we have. If we are searching for something, then we put it into the web browser and then it asks the web server to search for our query, gives the result back to the web server and it gives us the result back to the web browser. So the web server is connected with the database that is we are intended to use and we can use the web server via the web applications. Now, what is the difference of being used of a private or LAN network and in an internet or the web connected network? So the main advantage is the use of HTML. The hypertext markup language is a particular English language that we can put to design any of the need of ourselves to our websites and to design the websites so smoothly that they can be used via the every type of user and it can get support of every type of like the form based page where we can feed the data and get the result according to it. Like the login page, it is actually a form based page. Now when we talk about a form based page, we need to design it. How to design it? We can design it with an HTML standard. Nowadays HTML is even more advanced with other options like cascading style sheet. Now when we are talking about cascading style sheet, that means CSS is providing us more and more designing fertility to give us the opportunity to design our web page so that the user can conform to their need. Now the HTML has become the integral part of the web application designing and the code or the programming language for the designing of the application programs. So a typical application program needs a front end on that is known with the user interface and a back end that is connected with the database. And middle there is known as somewhere business logic. Now the business logic changes from the history of this mainframe, moves through the desktop and now being the web era. So the business logic is the logic that is used to connect the front end, the user interface to the back end, the database. See the database is hidden from us. We cannot see the entire database for an enterprise when the user is using it. Now when the user is using this type of business logic, that means the medium. It could be a LAN, it could be a proprietary network, it could be the internet. So depending on the logic, depending on the medium, we can connect the user interface to the database. So the database is hidden from us. We cannot see the entire database at its priority because the database contains more and more information that is not of particular use to the user. If the user is being the administrator to the enterprise, it may happen that the administrator has got all the privileges to access the database in every mode. Otherwise, many the users or most of the users are given the read mode to the particular portion of database. Say if I want to see the program details, I will see the program details, the faculty details, but not the faculty's information like the salary and from which house they are living or their contact number, often being a particular consideration that we want to show it to them. Now when we have moved in this wave era, we know that we are moving from the client-server architecture. Well, the client-server architecture needs a particular portion of the application program that is suggested by use of the client as well as in a different use on the server. That means the client side need a web application that is standard to the client machine and the server needs that is standard to the standard machine. So we have to imply two application programs. But unlike the client-server architecture, when we are moving the web era, then we can use a normal and combination of this, like using the servlets, the JSP Java server page, JavaScript, and Ajax, which combines the use of client and server, has make it one single serving pages or one single serving areas, both can be used by the client side scripting as well as the server side scripting. So this is the way for using the tools of the user interfaces and then put it into the application programs so that we can use it to actually fetch the data from the database or some time to add the data to the database. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira. Subscribe to Ikira.